I'm pretty hungry this morning. Let's see what's in the freezer. It's like some pancakes or waffles or something. I think there's some blueberry. Oh, what is this? There is a gun barrel in my freezer. Can anybody tell me why somebody put a gun barrel in my freezer? Well, folks, we will find out why there is a gun barrel in the freezer. Hello outdoor enthusiasts, this is Mountain Man and I have a product review for you today. I uh, just recently put this Hunter Specialties Nomar gun tape on my Mossberg 500. Yes, I like Mossberg. Sorry all you Remington fans. But uh, anyways, um, it's just a hat, toss that to the side. Uh, I had the barrel in the freezer because I was testing out uh, you know, the, the tape to see how well it would uh, deal with the, the cold and the moisture and it dealed pretty well. Um, the tape didn't come up, didn't have any problems. Hey, and I even put it on my camera. This is the one I'm gonna be uh, shooting videos for hunting season. Hope I get a big one. Anyways, uh, just real quick, um, like I said, this is the uh, Hunter Specialties Nomar Gun Tape and uh, bow, bow and Gun Tape. So I definitely recommend this product. This is in uh, Realtree uh, AP and it also comes in, I believe, Mossy Oak and, and uh, I think another version of Realtree. But uh, hey, awesome product. So uh, all you hunters, be safe out there and have fun. See ya. Well, hello everyone, this is Mountain Man, and if you're joining me, I just did my review of the Hunter's Specialties Nomar Gun and Bow Tape that I put on my gun here. Just wanted to go briefly over a few things about, you know, problems I ran into uh, inputting it on um, the gun and the scope. So uh, we'll just quickly look at this now. Um, some of the issues were uh, putting it on, you know, the very uh, contoured parts of the the gun and the uh, scope here, I had to use a lot of small pieces, um, especially, you know, I mean, the tape's not very wide, it's, you know, that wide, so I think it's like two inches. Anyways, so when you have a lot of area to cover, you, you have to be creative, so what I did was, you know, I, I basically wrapped it on the top with one piece, and then on the side, I got another piece running, put a little piece down here, and then with the barrel, um, that was a bit more interesting. Uh, I wanted to have you know the tape come down here, so that was a, a piece. And then to put to get a real nice clean line going across the side of the barrel, I put one side you know one part of the tape along the, the this side seams at the top, and then I put another piece on the other side. Now, here's another issue that I ran into because the barrel tapers down smaller to the end. There was a lot of bubbles and stuff, so. I don't know if you can see them, but like right here, very, very uh, small slit that I made to kind of get rid of the bubbles. Now that doesn't cause any problems, it doesn't really show up too well, but I, believe, I do believe the camera's picking that up. So, uh, you know, it, it was definitely interesting, and uh, I just uh, used kind of a, a, a very knife, for sharp knife, sorry, to uh, cut those pieces, and then I wrapped up around the, the front post site here. and you know, at the end of the gun barrel. But uh, other than that, you know, it went on pretty well. It's pretty uh, almost seamless. You can you can kind of see a little bit of variation, but tried to blend the colors as well as I could. Uh, this is the other side. Yes, I'm packing a lot of ammo. That's actually double op buck uh, for the smoothbore 18 and a half inch barrel that's right behind you. That's my tactical shotgun. Anyways, just wanted to actually point out, wondering if uh, I should put tape on this too just to kind of keep it matching with the gun then it would be nice and all camo if I needed to use that in that way anyways also kind of want to go over a little bit I haven't really talked too much about this shotgun so this is going to be kind of a lengthy talk I guess but uh, bear with me here um, what I did to this gun is uh, I put a Blackhawk front uh, grip on it and there's a Blackhawk uh, buttstock and then we're on the other side, like I mentioned, the six shot, side, the six shot side saddle. Try saying that ten times fast. And uh, I put a uh, G G and G single point sling. And I use, I believe, a, a Blackhawk um, single point sling for it. So uh, uh, obviously, you don't really need, for tactical purposes, a scope. So this comes off. And I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do for a tactical, you know, scope, or not tactical scope, but like a, maybe a red dot. Um, 
so I might end up just leaving this on or might um, the problem with this Picatinny rail is there's only two uh, slots back here and two slots up here so uh, I'd like to get one that's all the way you know a full Picatinny rail but uh, anyways that's my Mossberg here and I uh, hope you enjoyed put this back here a little review and uh, thanks for watching my channel see ya